Fourth of the game coming up for Toronto FC. The captain gave a smile. It's amazing. I mean, Toronto don't shoot all that much. They don't score that many goals, but they have such a high accuracy rate. Almost 60% of their shots are on target. Look at that back post. If Lombardo can just sneak back there, it's the spot you want to be. I mean, everybody always likes to crowd those near post runs. But they're not that good. They usually miss. Braz sends a bending one in. And Cannon steals it away from Lombardo. Looking for a quick outlet, a little drop kick. Sends Alan Gordon on a run, but he won't latch onto this one. Well, you can see Gordon was surrounded by three defenders. Just too many red shirts there for Landa. I mean, trying to push that through. Very difficult pass to make. He's already had a frustrating evening. Only 30 minutes in. Landa Donovan, four goals, six assists this season. Leads his team in both categories. Down the right side. Cuts inside. A strong challenge. Lombardo! Yeah, ripped his shirt off. I mean, that, those are the kind you love. I mean, you get lucky to get it. Same reaction from the fans there. As this ball kind of squirts out wide, this deflection here comes right to him. Is it right through the legs? Osnick made a great move, but to get the touch on the ball, and then the shot just wide of the target. I mean, that was just Toronto. Everybody getting stuck in. Braz made sure he got a touch on it. Just keep after the ball. Keep it alive and good things will happen. Back to Stamatopoulos. You love saying that I name, do. don't you? You I really do. do. I admit it. Stay on top of us? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? Kenny Stamatopoulos, the fifth starting goalkeeper for Toronto FC. The Columbus crew had a similar goalkeeping nightmare last year when they, too, went through five starting keepers. This could be a nightmare for Joe Cannon. Free kick upcoming for Toronto. Didn't really work out for the crew last year. And I no, it didn't. Now, as good as they have been with their crosses, I mean, every, we've been in this game long enough to figure this one out. Really curious to see how they handle this. See where the wall is. Goalkeepers are just trying to make a line there to make sure that it, there's no shot involved. This is going to be a mess. This is going to be a car crash. Someone's going to get in there. Once they back that up, right about in here. Robinson. Great defending. You know, they're doing a great job in there. Robinson, has, yeah, they've been eating it up in there. The back. Roberts has really got a couple of really very, very timely headers. Kevin Harms, the Canadian international who plays for the LA Galaxy, the one who got his noggin on that one. Fifth corner of the game already for Toronto here in the 31st. You got everybody back to the Galaxy. This one lofted up. Not much of a threat. Braz will get another crack at it. And Cannon snakes it out of the air. Let's take a look at today's United States Marine Corps team profile. Focuses on the home side here at BMO Field, Toronto FC. This is their first season in the league. First team to play north of the border here in Canada in MLS. Average attendance, second in the league, trailing only the LA Galaxy. I think so many crosses going in there to the box. I think now it's time for Toronto. Somebody needs to run out of the fender. Somebody needs to change the pattern a little bit. They've been floating the crosses in, floating the crosses in. They're not getting any out of it. I mean, Samuel looks quite capable. He's carrying the ball into the box, and so does Edu. This should be for the run of them. Eric, if you're Frank Yallop, head coach of L.A. right now, what are you mulling for halftime as far as adjustments are concerned? Well, I still think they got to solve that, uh, that problem of... Trying to figure out how to get that, that line just behind, offensive that line just behind Gordon. He's kind of left out there on his own. We've seen too many times where he's just one versus three. Landon's got to do a better job of just following up plays. It allows Harms and Vinus to get involved. Do you keep Donovan out wide? This should be a card. It will. Ugly Landon, challenge. Landon's going to drift wide anyway. Landon's going to go in the safe places to play in the first half of this game. Yeah, but I, and as the game stretches out, then he gets those opportunities to run. But as you just saw in that last play, if he starts running, they're going to foul him. And you can see that's a deliberate foul. It's early in the game. 
Do not let that guy get moving. Take your card. They have to find a way to get Klein more involved on the right wing, but they're not getting anything from over there, but they should be able to get something from. If you're marking Landon out of the game, you're keeping Landon out of the game, somebody should be having room yeah, on the opposite well, side. What's here? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing in there. There's no way to get in there. Oh, Got to nice go around. Nice lapping run by Jazik, but he has to pull it back. Donovan, the captain. He really has no options there. Goes square. Finds harms. And they regroup. Gray pokes it out. Jazik, Canadian there's international the, there's lefty. There's that pressure to make him go backwards yeah. again. I'll tell you what, the pressure's been fantastic. I think their cover's been pretty good, but this is another example of it. Unless you foul him, now nah, Gordon's starting to get frustrated and foul. Now Toronto applying a ton of pressure, and they are gamely playing this one here. Decimated injury-wise. Danny Dicchio starting forward, sore back and hip, out. Marvell Wint, speedy right back, out. Ronnie O'Brien may be out for the year with that knee. Jeff Cunningham doing some running pregame. Looks like maybe a sports hernia type thing. Greg Sutton, concussion he suffered playing the net in the Gold Cup for Canada. I mean, th this, this is mash right here, people. <laughs> well, they're all part of it, man. You got to manage it. Just get them going, get them flying. The crowd plays is a huge factor tonight. You got to outwork them. Another corner. They are dominating the stat department as far as corner kicks are concerned. Six for Toronto for the LA Galaxy. Zero. And that's what happens. You keep the wide men out. You're, you're forcing the two backs to stay at home. They can't get up the field. You're denying opportunities on the opposite end, and you're creating so, some good opportunities on the opposite end. Again, 10 white shirts back there. Robinson, far post, headed back in. Samuel's header might have been blocked by his own man. They do, keeps it alive. Is this ball going to sit for him? It will. The speedy rookie who left after his junior at Maryland plays it back. Robinson gets underneath this one. He's mad at himself there. Could have been a better cross. I think it was Donovan to stop it. They had a great opportunity here. Watch the ball coming across. Watch Samuel take the, the ball in the middle and gets it. Donovan just got in the way of the header. The header was heading towards the target, but he just couldn't get out of the way of it. There's a lot of bodies in there. It's so difficult when you got 10 white shirts from the Galaxy back on every single corner, all inside the 18. It's one of the real problems that the Galaxy have, isn't it, playing away from home? They haven't had a victory in seven games away from home. Oh, the streamers are coming again. Look at... Oh, yeah, they just found 10 more streamers yeah. behind their seats, you know. I tell you what, I think I just found an entrepreneurial opportunity here. Gonna Every home game, streamers. I'm coming up, and I'm sitting behind there saying, streamers, get your streamers! <laughs> Donovan, it's his first chance to get a look at somebody. Jazzik overlapping, Samuel, oh, bodies him off the ball, but costs up the corner. Oh, Samuel really laid into him. A little linebacker-type build right there, maybe a... A, a, a free safety coming out it's to a lay your challenge, you know. I mean, you. I thought he was just crossing the blue line. And you so get fantastic, <laughs> but you're in the right city for us. Yeah, the Maple Leaf this, supporters like that one. Yeah, make this, right. this is your first and corner. Donovan gets bombarded by streamers. <laughs> I love Toronto. The result: a bad corner. Crowd one. Like nothing. Let's remember this too. The LA Galaxy played a Super League game Tuesday in Dallas. One six to five. Six goals on just eight shots taken. So they may be getting outplayed and outshot right now, but they have lately made the most of their limited opportunities. But this crowd here at BMO Field, what a source of inspiration for these players. Last time I heard an atmosphere like this was in Athens at the Champions League final. It's a very European feel here, and obviously a very cosmopolitan city, Toronto is. Sold out crowd again here at BMO Field. In fact, they installed 150 temporary seats this week in addition to the 300 they added last week. Last week. Sales, uh, if you were unavailable for the game tonight and you had tickets, 
still going for as high as at least 250 bucks a pop. Our stage manager sold two of her tickets. She's working and made a quick 500 beans on two tickets tonight. Throw it in quicker. Get it out to Kelly Gray. Oh, bounced on him. And that Farms. was with the knowledge that Beckham wasn't playing. Exactly. They still bought the tickets. Yeah, when they thought he was playing, it was at least a thousand for a pair. They do. Keeps that one alive. And that one crossed the line. <laughs> the late flag. If you touch it, I will raise my flag. David Beckham still waiting to make his Major League Soccer playing debut. His next opportunity this Thursday night at D.C. on ESPN2. He's intense. I mean, he, he's he's focused on this game. This is by no means just a little vacation that he's he's coming to up here in Toronto and to MLS. He's learning. He's learning little things about every player on the field. Learning where guys make the runs, how they like the ball. And, who's, and who's not afraid to do that? Oh, hey, dude, just cleaned out Chris Klein. And no whistle by Mauricio Navarro, our official tonight. Lombardo, the 20-year-old, doing a pretty good job as a lone wolf up top. He's doing the one thing I think Gordon isn't doing. That's holding the ball, but he's, it's, I think it's the way he's getting his passes. Long-range effort, and that was, that was more chip than anything else. It's like shovel foot. It was not good. Let's take a look at tonight's upcoming calendar brought to you by Heineken and the upcoming LA Galaxy games, August 9th, LA, DC United, again live on ESPN2. And on Sunday, they hit the road again up to New England. And then August 15th, a Super League semifinal game at the Home Depot Center versus DC United. And then Saturday, August 18th at New York. They are expecting upwards of 60,000 for that one. And if you were a gambling man, a lot of people are thinking that may be the one that he makes his debut in. I stopped gambling. Completely. Good call. Now, Harms has been involved in some pretty solid tackles and collisions, and he and they do a good I, battle there. I mean, everybody saw it, the, the hit that he just put on Klein. I think if anybody's going to handle it, it'll be Harms, so let's keep an eye on that. If he, gets a, if he gets an opportunity with the rookie running with his head down, might be a hockey hit sometime in the near future, almost. Todd Dunavit, Stanford University product. Maurice Seydoux, certainly one of the candidates for MLS Rookie of the Year right there. Get it out to Jazik, who's been a little, little spotty tonight in that left back spot. This is a great job there, just closing up that hole again. You know, the, the opportunities are few and far between to try and find Gordon, but you got to get it into him early. But if there's only one man in there, Eric, it's pretty easy to close him down. He's not getting any support at all. Though. There's nobody coming running off him so right. that he could lay the ball off to them, even if he can hold it up. He hasn't had the chance to hold it up, but there's nobody moving in support of him. There's Troy Roberts getting the start right fullback for the Galaxy. Rick Ayanis, who used to be the captain. And Donovan took that one over. It'll be interesting to see how much longer Donovan is the captain of the LA Galaxy. Will David Beckham take over the armband when he returns and makes full-time play it? Again, trying to find Gordon. Great step up again. Boy, they are getting nothing out of Gordon. They, they just cannot seem to find him, or he's not quick enough to get to it. Offside flag is off. Amato DeLuca, the near side linesman here. He's been awfully busy in the opening 42 minutes. We should also talk about the fact that, you know, Gordon's not getting anything because Marshall is all over him. I mean, he's not giving him an inch anytime he does come forward. It's just sideways or backwards right now for the Galaxy. And they go time they go to forward, you know, they lose it. The Galaxy back in action this Thursday night, 7 Eastern here on ESPN2. They're at RFK Stadium. Will Beckham make his MLS playing debut then? Find out with us this Thursday night, 7 Eastern on ESPN2. Kobe Jones not with the team. Hip injury. 
They hope he'll be able to join them in D.C. Just really started training yesterday, or today, rather. Quick restart finds Donovan. Finally has some time to build some speed going forward. Hyannis really not even thinking about shot right now. Harms doing it's, some dancing. It's just a great job right now tactically by Toronto. They just they're, they're playing with a tight nine, I would call. Usually it's an eight block, but the red shirts are just very organized right now. Very difficult. All your options are wide. Suffocating D tonight by Toronto FC. Look at it. You can just draw out the lines right there. They put essentially four midfielders across with one sitting in the middle and four in the back and then they readjust so there's always that there's never a pocket to play into and it's a very difficult scenario trying to find gordon yeah but you know toronto are doing that but their transition game is so much quicker than la la when they do that they don't get anybody up in support of gordon as soon as uh, toronto break everybody's breaking especially the wide men Trying to go over the top to Chris Klein. Jim Brennan, the captain on him. Klein quickly double teamed, escapes. He has to go back with it. Harms, Gray. Gray, Gordon, one touch to Jazza. This is nice. Served in. Looking for Klein and Kenny Stamatopoulos brings it in. Easy for Stamatopoulos. He just stepped to the edge of the six yard box and put the mitts up. Nice movement before that with Elias. Some, some of the best movement that we've seen all night. Good job there. Riding a couple tackles, holding the ball. Gossick has to foul. Let's see what they got here. Let's get their weight. I guess as they will. Lannis is saying that that constituted the free kick because the ball rolled a full circumference, but he was just touching it. it usually you'll see a guy go down and put his hands on it. He's, he's a little hesitant to do it now with his feet. Let's see what he does here. One of the things they have not hit an in-swinger yet. Interesting. See if they change that up. Good cross. goes back to Toronto. Adam Braz. One minute of Your first half please, stoppage time will be added. One minute. One, one minute. Is this Donovan laying it off. And Roberts just gets it out. Let's see if he uses that throw in now. The guys know that he can do this well. He can throw that all the way to the six if he wants to. But why, I mean, why do they do that? They've tried that, like, maybe nine or ten times in a row now, and LA have just eaten it up. Isn't it time for something different? Here's Donovan. Maybe if you yell really loud, they'll hear you. <laughs> I'm not going to yell, but I'm just telling them that it should be different. Gray, Gordon, or rather Klein to Donovan. Just seconds left in this first half. Jazzik, wide left. Can he get off the service? That was a whistle from the crowd. That was another one. Gray. Now that was deflected, so that's going to be a corner kick for the Galaxy coming up at halftime. The Dick Sporting Goods halftime report. We'll go back to the studio and update on Tom Glavin's pursuit of win number 300 and Edwin Vandersar. It's a big day here. Our evening here in Toronto is done for the first 45 minutes at least. Scoreless, a game that has really been dominated by the home side, Toronto FC, so far. Landon Donovan searching for answers. Dick Sporting Goods halftime report coming up. L.A. Toronto scoreless at the break. We've left the most treasured game in the world to be played in the shadows, where its speed, power, and passion have remained unseen. Now, a new stage is set with new stars bringing light that soccer's time has come.
proud. The Marines. Tuesday on the Bronx is burning. So you added the lineup tonight. I guess I'm glad my contract has an escape clause. What escape clause? Reggie told me you'd let him out of his contract if he was unhappy. Does it say that in his contract? No. Well, then I didn't promise him anything. Will the tension in the clubhouse... Either this team will make a historic comeback... ...cost them the season, or it will be known forever as the team that choked. Bat Reggie fourth. But his strikeouts will ruin my running. Bat him fourth or you're gone. The Bronx is burning. Tuesday at 10 on ESPN. Presented by MasterCard. You ever think you might have worms? If your computer is slowing down or crashing or just acting weird. E-acceleration with the full power of stop sign can make it like new again. Stop sign gives you virus protection second to none. With a spam blocker and spyware remover. Pop-up blocker. And the stop sign firewall for all the protection you'll ever need. Guaranteed. You may be infected and not even know it. Go to stopsign.com for a free virus scan now. When you wanna buy a great product at the lowest prices you've ever seen, just turn to your computer. Satisfaction guaranteed. Your everyday low prices and free shipping, and Google Checkout is preferred. The next time you're gonna shop online, just remember these keywords. But I can't Is the Sports Center halftime report presented by Dick Sporting Goods? Hi, I'm Steve Berthieu, and we take this opportunity at halftime now to get you caught up on what else is happening on a busy sports Sunday. Barry Bonds did not play in the Giants 5 4 loss at San Diego this afternoon. Bonds and the Giants now return home to AT&T Park in San Francisco tomorrow night to open a series against the Washington Nationals. Right now, over on ESPN, speaking of milestones, Tom Glavin faces the Cubs at Wrigley Field. Glavin looking for his 300th career win. Right now, there are 22 members of the 500 home run club and 22 members of the 300 win club. Glavin tonight seeking to become the 23rd 300 game winner in baseball history. He's been staked to an early lead on the road. The Mets lead the Cubs 1-0 at Wrigley Field. Nextel Cup at Pocono this afternoon where Kurt Busch scored his 16th NASCAR Nextel Cup Series win, but his first since last March at Bristol. That was 52 races ago. He last won at Pocono in July of 2005. Tiger Woods wins at Bridgestone Invitational again, his third straight and sixth career win this event. Tiger today, final round 65. Good for an A-shot win over Justin Rose and Rory Sabatini. It's Tiger Woods' 58th career PGA Tour win and his fourth this year. Tiger Woods wins again at the Bridgestone Invitation. Meanwhile, at St. Andrews in Scotland, Lorena Ochoa is finally off the schneid. Perhaps the most exciting player on the women's tour right now finally wins her first career major. It's her 13th career LPGA win. He wins the Women's British Open, a final round 74. Ochoa goes over $2 million in earnings for this season. Lorena Ochoa, your winner at the Women's British Open. Some NFL news from today. Two more first-round draft picks have ended their holdouts. Linebacker John Beeson, 25th overall, signs with the Panthers. Receiver Dwayne Bow, 23rd overall, agrees to terms with the Kansas City Chiefs. That leaves only three unsigned first-round picks. And some news on Dolphins linebacker Joey Porter. He will have his right knee evaluated. The Dolphins saying that's just a precautionary measure, although Porter has missed two days of practice with his new team in Miami. Much more coming up. We'll take a look at Edwin Vandersar, Man U and Chelsea, little summer tune-up. We'll also run down the rest of the weekend's MLS action in a moment. This halftime report is brought to you by Dick's Sporting Goods. Every season starts at Dick's. The interaction studied in chemistry may be between two chemical substances or between matter and energy.
95 mile an hour fastball will reach home plate in four tenths of a second. Watch every pitch in clear Panasonic motion. Panasonic Plasma for the speed of sports. Panasonic, ideas for life. Hey, Michael, what you drinking? I don't want to talk about it. Why not? Because I don't want to jinx it, okay? What do you mean jinx it? I mean I don't want to jinx it. Let me see, what it... Sierra Mist Lemon Squeeze. An extra squeeze of lemon taste, but only for the summer. That sounds too good to be true. Great. Now you jinxed it. <laughs> I jinxed it. Sorry. I... Comfortable in jeans that are tough. I'm comfortable in jeans that fit great. I'm comfortable in Wrangler. Wrangler five-star premium denim jeans. Built tough with 14-ounce heavyweight denim. Built comfortable with a stonewashed finish and relaxed fit. Wrangler five-star premium denim jeans. Satisfaction guaranteed. Wrangler. Real comfortable jeans. Curveball will spin up to 30 times a second and break as much as 17 inches. Watch every pitch in clear Panasonic motion. Panasonic Plasma for the speed of sports. Panasonic, ideas for life. How long has you been up there? I don't know, I think a while. telecast of Major League Soccer may not be retransmitted, reproduced, or rebroadcast without the express written consent of Major League Soccer. Welcome back to the Sports Center Halftime Report, presented by Dick Sporting Goods. Our MLS coverage continues on the family of ESPN Networks Thursday, 7 o'clock Eastern Time on ESPN2. You can watch the L.A. Galaxy continue their playoff push. It's L.A. and D.C. United Thursday, August 9th, 7 o'clock Eastern on ESPN2. Another busy day in the MLS today. D.C. United and the Revolution. Tom Stone and United looking to pull off the upset here, 22nd minute. It's Clyde Sims from outside the box. Matt Reese to stop. Josh Gross there for the putback. D.C. United up 1-0. 31st minute. Guy rolling Capetti with an unbelievable through. It's Luciano Emilio. The finish 2-0, D.C. And then in the 75th minute, once more, Luciano Emilio breaks in all alone. D.C. United 3-0 over the Rev. A shutout of the Eastern Conference leaders. Big win for them. Saturday, it was Houston and Real Salt Lake. Last place team looking for just its second win all year against first place Houston. 84th minute, Wade Barrett misplays the bad pass. Robbie Finley, the turnover, beats Pat Onstad. 1-0 Salt Lake. Last chance for Houston in the 90th minute. Richard Mulrooney with a free kick from midfield. It's into the box. Nick Rimondo is there to knock it away. His fourth shutout of the year. Salt Lake wins it 1-0. It's just their second win all season. Also, Colorado and FC Dallas. Dallas winning its 10th game. That's tied for most of the MLS this year. A 1-0 over Colorado. Columbus and Chicago were scoreless. That's the eighth tie for Columbus, and that leads the MLS. FA Community Shield. This is, of course, the annual match between the EPL champs and the winners of the FA Cup. John Terry, one of several Chelsea stars sitting out. Terry, of course, injured. Man U and Chelsea at Wembley. Final minute, first half. Flora Maluda past Rio Ferdinand. We're 1 1. They go to shootout. Penalty kicks. Edwin Vandersar coming up big, not once, but twice. The second on Sean Wright Phillips. Wayne Rooney converted for Man U. They win 3 0 in the FA Community Shield. This is with David Beckham playing for the LA Galaxy. Real Madrid has some room at midfield, and they are speaking to Chelsea about two players. A reported 27 million pound offer for both Michael Ballack and Arian Robin. Those two still negotiating a price to bring those two players from Chelsea to Real Madrid. When we come back, we'll bring you back to Toronto. Ty Harden saving a goal here for LA. Galaxy in Toronto still scoreless. Second half action when we continue. It's the MLS here on ESPN2.
This halftime report is brought to you by Dick's Sporting Goods. Every season starts at Dick's. My name is David Beckham, and this is my story. I still look back to 98. I'd been sent off in the World Cup. Of course, I wish it hadn't have happened. I was having death threats for three and a half years. After I scored against Greece to get back into the World Cup, all the sports writers, they just stood up and started clapping me. You will go through tough times. It's about coming through that. I, Tony Sinclair, in my relentless pursuit of cocktail perfection, journeyed to exotic India in search of the fabled Rangpur line. The quest was arduous, but the result, delicious. Discover Tanqueray Rangpur, the new mixable gin that goes with everything. What's next? Ice cubes that don't melt. <laughs> Ready to Tanqueray, Rangpur style. Always in moderation. The guys in my league said he was too small, buried on the depth chart, but I snagged him off waivers anyway. And 16 touchdowns later, I'm holding this. Ladies and gentlemen, a giant on my team, and in my heart, Maurice Jones-Drew. Looking for this year's fantasy heroes? Okay, relax, man. Get the best expert advice and analysis at ESPN. Sign up and play for free today at ESPN.com. Now on pay-per-view, story goes that he'll be normal during the day, but at night, in the presence of evil, the rider takes over. Let's ride. Hang on. For the ride of your life. No! Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider, now on pay-per-view. I love this city. It's so good to be back in LA, doing what I do best. I'm opening up my own tattoo shop, and I've lined up some of the best artists in the biz and some rockin' clients. This is Hollywood, babe, and we're open for business. I'm Kat Von D, and I think you're gonna dig LA Inc. Premieres Tuesday at 10 on TLC.